What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today I'm talking about Power Automate, and I'm going to be talking about some expressions. We're going to look at string expressions, specifically the replace string function. So what is replace? So replace allows you to pass in a string or some text. It then allows you to identify a piece of text and then allows you to replace that piece of text with whatever other text you want to add in. Uh, let's take a look at that. Let's take a look at this in action. So I'm in Power Automate. I have my flow here, which is a manual trigger flow, and we've got a couple of inputs. I'm going to click on new step. I'm going to add a compose action. I use compose quite a bit. And I'm going to click on inputs. I'm going to go to expressions, and I'm going to go down to string functions, and we're going to choose the replace text string function. So in here we can see the parameters that we need to pass in. So we need to pass in some text. We need to pass in the old text that we have identified inside this text. And then we want to pass in the new text that we will be replacing it with. So we'll click replace and we're going to use some of our uh, dynamic content. So we'll go back and we'll choose input one. I'll click uh, and we'll put in a comma. So we've got our, our text that we're passing in. And then in that text, we're going to just hard code in some values. So you can pass in all the values and things like that. So from all the inputs, but I'm just going to hard code in these values. So I'm going to say, I want to find the word test in that text that we're passing in. And then I'm going to say, I want to replace that with uh, party. So what this function uh, looks like is, is replace, and then we've got the input from here, or we could just put in some, te uh, some text here. Uh, we're gonna find the word test in that input, and then we're gonna replace it with party. And once we're happy with this function, we can press okay. It goes in there, and we can test this flow. So I'll click test, and I'll click save and test. And in the input, I'm going to write, I'm having a test. Uh, and we'll hit run flow. We'll click done. Oh, it failed. Why did it fail? Uh, ah, so do not create compose action text. Uh, replace this text. Three string parameters. The string. Ah, so it's probably not saved something as we've done in there. Ah, yeah, as you can see, it's not saved uh, the other uh, functions for some reason, which is. A bit weird. I've seen this occasionally with um, with Power Automate, where it just doesn't save some of these things that we are putting in. So we'll click. So we'll put test in. We'll put party in. Again, we'll click update. We'll just click again to see if it's done it, and it hasn't again for some reason. This is a bit unusual. So we'll try once more. Uh, test. I'll try uh, party again. If this doesn't work, we'll just copy that to my dashboard, uh, to my clipboard first. Try this. Nope, doesn't want to work. Right, let's just remove this. Go to expressions. We'll type it all in. And we'll click on this again. Clip here in expressions. Click on the expression. All right, everything's in there now. That's good. So some small UI bugs, uh, nothing to be too alarmed about, but uh, it's handy and I'll keep this in the video so you can see that. So we'll click on test and we'll do this again. And we'll click, I'm having a test. We'll click run flow, we'll click done. It ran successfully this time and here we go. We've identified the input as I'm having a test and we've found the test bit and then we've replaced it with party. So I'm having a party. This is particularly handy if you always know certain bits of um, language that might be used in somewhere and you want to replace it with others. Uh, but I'd like to know what other people are using this for. So let me know down below in the comments. If you've not already, please uh, like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, contact me on Twitter, uh, the at D365Geek, and let me know how you use Substring. I think it's pretty cool, but I want to hear what you think. So until next time, I'll see you later.